In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to sell options on Mara for 50% premiums to then buy Tesla on the dip with. Okay, this way when I do it, I don't raise my margin debt. So we earn over 100,000 per year in dividends at this channel and I use margin to get that. I use a fraction of my margin. For every $1 you put in your brokerage account, you get $4 of purchasing power. I'm just using a fraction of that margin to get both extra income and performance, which as, as you can see below, we're up 44% for the year. The Dow's up six, the NASDAQ's up 34, and the S&P's up 18. So we're up 44% beating all of the indexes using our index-based approach as well as margin. And I'm trying to always maximize every day where I can and take advantage of what I see in the portfolio happening in the portfolio daily, what's being given to us so that we can take advantage. So my debt's down to 207500 because I sold a put on Mara to raise $500. Here's the put on Mara, okay, to raise $500. And that knocked my margin debt by five, margin debt down by $500. Uh, if you need help understanding margin and how I play it to live financially free out of my brokerage account, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. Again, I just use a fraction of, of margin. So I, I sold the Mara put here uh, for a $10 strike price. Okay, so Mara is at around 15. And I, and I saw Mara in the portfolio today. I saw Mara down uh, 3%. It was down a little bit more than that earlier this morning. I saw Mara down big and Tesla was down uh, about a percent this morning. So I saw Tesla. I know Tesla's uh, had, a, had a drop recently uh, because Tesla fell. So we go to Tesla's chart. TS, well, we're going to look at Tesla first, TSLA. And uh, I was waiting for the proper moment to rebalance because my position size in Tesla was, uh, was $10,000, as you guys know. So uh, when that gets to $9,000, <clears> I don't really care what price – Tesla's at. I just rebalance when I when I was at ninety five hundred in my Tesla position because my core is ten. When I got down to ninety five, I simply bought five hundred of Tesla with my five hundred dollars of proceeds from my options premiums in Mara. Okay, so we're looking at Tesla on a one year chart, and yes, it's pulled back to almost the purple line, which is the fifty day moving average. This could be the support that we're looking for, the line in the sand, but it hasn't quite touched the fifty. So I'm waiting till two fifty or even a tag of the 200-day moving average, which is the orange line and near the $200 uh, stock price. So you have a whole number support there and the 200-day moving average for support there, the 200 being the orange. If you need help understanding charts and how I use technicals, email me for my e-guides there too. I have volume one, fundamental analysis, volume two, technical analysis. Volume three is how to uh, play margin in your brokerage account. And volume four is how to play cornerstone properly. So we're almost getting to a, a nice oversold level on Tesla, by the way. If we drop to 40, that would be a nice entry point. So I'm looking to add on any further dips in here, guys. And again, if you look at the Tesla position that I have, you'll see that it was $10,000, okay? Tesla right here, um, it was ten. It was nine five this morning. So I added 500 to it today, and now I'm already up over 10,000. I'm at 10,500 because it's come back today. You know, we're up 250 bucks in it. So, I mean... It's not that my 500 that I bought made me up 500. It's just that now it's come back. So, so 10,000, that was our core position. Now we're above it. I would rebalance it here and trim it back down to 10, but obviously we need a bigger move up in Tesla before I would do that. And therefore Tesla, uh, you know, because it would follow Tesla and I just need a bigger move in the underlying in Tesla before I rebalance. I'm looking for Tesla to maybe go to, maybe I'll be up 11 or 12,000 in the position, you know, before I rebalance and cut it back to 10. And then when Tesla drops, when Tesla drops, I simply rebalance below. So uh, today, this morning, I used that opportunity to, to buy this morning, to buy Tes Tesla with my proceeds from Mara. And I'll, I'll walk you through Mara real quick and show you how I did that. But Tesla, you know, here's the time that I did it at. Okay, rate change for your hard to borrow security. Let's just check that out because I've been uh, doing videos on that. So CRF, 4.73. So now the interest is dropping from 4.9 to 4.7. It's even cheaper to go with shorting CRF than to go with margin because most people's margin rates are 10% plus. This is, this is lower than my margin rate. So I'm, I'm very happy about where I'm boxing Cornerstone. Cornerstone's down a little bit today, you know, and, and the box position we have in Cornerstone. You can see that we're uh, we're up in it today because that's how shorts work. 
So we're up, you know, inverse. And, you know, my margin debt did not rise to do this. And even if my debt did rise, it's at 4.7%. That's nothing. Over the course of a year, I'm just doing this temporarily for a couple months with Cornerstone. Um, by the way, guys, if you want to know Cornerstone, $8 uh, share price. Look at uh, the drip. This is why Cornerstone is so special. $8 share price here, but look at the drip. You get them down at 6 every month. 21% dividend, 653 now what is that? 23% gain. 652, 25% gain. 642, 27, and so on and so forth. 30% gain there. That's why Cornerstone is so special, but you have to time it and have to uh, ask for the special drip. You have to time the rights offering and you have to ask for the special drip. Again, email me for my e-guides at akintop48 at gmail.com if you need help playing Cornerstone properly, and I'm just shorting it there. So, and I'm going to sell it before the X date, okay, the shorts here, so I don't have to pay the dividend. Okay, but anyway, back to the back to the subject at hand. I was just trying to show you that I bought Tesla early in the morning, Tesla in the morning, and I, and I paid for it by selling Mara, okay? So this put on Mara. Let me walk you through why I did that. Okay, $10 strike price for Mara, okay, $4.89. So approximately a 50% premium there I received. So the strike price, the cost basis is really around five because 10 minus 489, that's almost $5. So the stock would have to fall down to $5 for me to get assigned, which I would want because I want Bitcoin exposure anyway. So I'm selling puts so that I can get into the position. But even if I don't get into the position, I'm still controlling the asset with the put. You know, because when when you sell this option on Mara down here, it moves with the market too. You'll see it. I was up six hundred dollars the last time I I closed my put on Mara, so it moves up with the market too. And I have some long Mara uh, stock to get extra uh, uh, performance out of the position. I'll show you that in one second. So here we're at the chart of Mara. It's had a monster run. Okay, it's had a, a huge breakout, but it's pulled back from twenty to fifteen. So. I'm selling puts down here because this is where instead of instead of me buying more Mara and paying 100% maintenance and taking up all of my equity, which I never want to do with this channel, as you guys know, uh, I sold the put instead. I sold the put at 10. So that's where the support is, is $10, okay? That's where the 200-day is, that orange line, and $10 is a support area. So I don't think it's going to get there. And every time it dips from here, I'm simply going to sell another put, another thousand, another thousand, another thousand on Mara, and just collect bigger and bigger premiums each time because as it falls, the premiums grow, the percentages rise. But I can't do too much on Mara because, again, I'm going to take up this available withdrawal. Every thousand I buy of Mara takes up a thousand available withdrawal because it's 100% maintenance. So I like 30% maintenance names. If you go to Cornerstone, for example, you'll see why I like it because if you look at uh, the maintenance here, you'll see it's 30%. 30%. But Mara is 100%. So if I put 1,000 in Cornerstone, only 300 of my equity is taken up so I can leverage much more on Cornerstone and get way more dividends. With a stock like Mara, okay, it's 100% maintenance. So uh, I don't like owning the stock outright. It's 100%. See, 100% maintenance. So I don't like owning the stock outright. I, I prefer just getting premiums to knock down my my margin instead. Again, if you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my margin e-guide. Email me there at akintop48 at gmail.com. So we're up for the day, 0.03. What's the market? Uh, it's up 0.08, the NASDAQ. So we're pretty close to the NASDAQ and the indexes. And that's due to this entire index-based approach. But Tesla, I just thought it was it was down early this morning. It was a good time to add to it. You see on the chart, it's trying to bottom around the 50. So I rebalanced there. I don't even look at the charts. I don't have to. All I have to do is just look at the core positions. 10,000, when it's below it, I rebalance it and buy. When it's above 10,000, I trim. I'm just waiting for more significant moves around that $10,000 position. Another yield max fund is about to drop too. I think uh, AMZ is about to come out. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, so anyway, so I bought Tesla 500 and I paid for it through Mara's puts, okay, at $10. It's a very low risk play in my opinion. And you have to play Bitcoin professionals recommend you to have three to 5% of Bitcoin holdings in your account. So I have Mara here. Here's the stock. When I saw that I was down significantly on the stock, 12%, 12, you know, I'm like, okay, so it's pulled back since I bought the stock 12%. Well, this is time to sell a put. So you don't really lose, okay? And you sell another put and you get another $500 selling a put on Mara. 
Yes, you're lowering your cost basis uh, to a, to almost five, and yes, it could go below that and go to zero. But that would mean probably Bitcoin is going to zero because Mara is a bellwether for Bitcoin. So is Riot. They're the top miners for Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin falls, so will they. So I'm up 600 in this Riot put, as you can see. But I'm waiting to get the whole premium. Five times three is 1500. So I'm going to keep Riot in the put section here. Control that at ten dollars. So if I get a sign, it's only a thousand dollars. Okay, it's nothing. And my available withdrawal stays high in the process, okay? Because you don't want to have too much assignment on, and then it sucks up all your equity. And then when the market falls, you have to get a sign, and then you're in a margin call. You have to only do this on sh on small share prices when you're selling these options, and you have to do it to where you 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 do it after a big down day, and you you capture extra premium there, and uh, that then lowers your margin, so you don't have to pay as much interest, okay? Uh, so, but always keep your eye on the equity number as you sell puts. Don't just go crazy selling puts to lower your margin, okay? Watch your equity number. Mara is 100%, so it still takes up my equity when I sell the puts. I just get some of that back when I get a $500 uh, cat, you know, premium back that 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 brings back equity. So it only took up 500 of my equity to do this versus buying a thousand of Mara outright. And so I prefer to, and I and I have a much lower cost basis to, to do this with Mara now. So and I and and it's a long term. It goes out to 2025 or whatever. So that means that I'm controlling Bitcoin for the long term because that's what I'm doing in my portfolio anyway. Just like with Riot, I'm controlling this long term. I don't mind if it's not as much gains as the stock itself. My big gains come from my dividends. I'll take these little $500 wins, $1,000 wins. Multiply that times a bunch of options that I sell all day. I'll take the small, you know, the base hits instead of the home runs. Okay, keep adding up those five hundred dollar gains. Five hundred a day, five hundred a day, five hundred wherever you can, you know. And uh, come on, you know that's you know still a lot more money than you would get paid at a nine to five. So I'm I'm concerned with this money only, this dividend, these dividends, and my performance value. So that's how I did it, guys. Okay, I saw Tesla. You know, I'm waiting to buy it. I was wanting to rebalance it with Tesla, but I, I wanted to not have to raise my margin in the process. So I sold a put on Mara, a low risk put, I believe. Let me know what you think about this move. Leave comments in the section below. Also, we'll continue this conversation over on Discord. When you buy all my e-guides, you get access to Discord for free, where I alert you of the Cornerstone Rights Offering announcement. So you also get, you know, other benefits at the Discord chat room. You get, uh, you know, you, you learn who has the best margin rates, who does the special drip for cornerstone etc etc so um uh, i'm hope you're liking that over at discord guys um i hope you like the video click like or subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you soon thanks